My name is Chris Zacharia. My business is Schnurds, schnurds.com. Schnurds are a reminder to be present and to be loving to ourselves and one another. It's a character brand and we make clothing, accessories, and plush toys. Plush toys are our favorite and we have two new ones, Schnurdfish and Schnurd Marine coming out in time for the holidays of 2024. Awesome. Okay. What is your favorite best business book? Oh my gosh, my favorite business book, I would say How to Win Friends and, or How to um, Win Friends and Influence People, the uh, Andrew Carnegie, Dale Carnegie. Yeah, that's a good I don't one. I read a lot. No, that's a great mm-hmm. one. Best retail technology like an app or software? Okay, so I love uh, Shopify. My site is built on Shopify. I have a wholesale platform and like if you log into the wholesale platform, it will tell you the different pricing tiers for each product. I'm, I'm proud of myself in terms of my tech savvy. It's not my background. And so I kind of learned by fire. Love it. How do you keep up with the ever-changing retail landscape? Um, I scream into my pillow. Uh, No, coming to things like this. And also I'm a member of Start Out, which is an LGBT focused uh, startup organization. I have a couple mentors through that in the retail space. I talk to them. I go to stores. I really like to speak to people and talk to them like face to face. And so I just kind of keep my pulse on the market in that way. Very good. To help retailers be stronger, more rooted in success, what's a branding foundational best practice? Knowing what your brand is. For me, I feel like the time and effort that I put into defining schnurds, what schnurds mean and, and, and what we're all about, has really proven to, to save me a lot of time. Now when I go about and I try to do something, I can always go back to Schnurd's brand book or to Schnurd's values to understand whether or not it makes sense for the brand and I'm not sitting there kind of like pulling my hair out because I don't have any hair left to turn gray. It's it's all already there. (laughs) If you were to start your business all over again, what's one thing you'd do differently? One thing that I would do differently is I would be more careful about suppliers. I had a lot of growing pains with suppliers. I don't know if that's ever been your experience, but I threw a lot of money away on you know different products, trying to make deals with people or to find somebody who works. And now in my apartment, I have like a graveyard of you know ish schnerd stuff that it's there if anybody wants you know to come visit the Frankenstein of <laughs> of the beginnings. Yeah. Finally, what do you think the future of independent retail looks like? I don't think retail will ever go away. Um, you know, it, it never ceases to amaze me how much power retail can have, specifically products. Like people will, they'll wrap their identity up in a thing, right? Like I work a lot with people who are really like plushy enthusiasts. They collect these little guys or they collect like squishmallows or something. And I think there's always going to be that experience that they crave where they're like, I go to the store the day it's launched or I have to, you know, go around and hunt to try and find it. So I think that that's always going to be a thing. I think it's like human behavior. And I don't think that, you know, independent retail will will go away. I think maybe it'll change. But personally, I feel like the pendulum, it just swings back and forth. Like I remember in the early 2000s, in the late 90s, when it was like all e-commerce. And then we were all like, no, I actually kind of want to go somewhere. Right. It's so so true. So true. How can people learn more about you? You can visit schnurds.com or you can uh, follow schnurdherd on Instagram or TikTok. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Shirts.com. Bye, guys. Bye.